When David faced the mighty Goliath, he faced a critical moment. And in that instant, he had to make a choice. He had to choose to stand up, to jeopardize it all, or to stand by and fade into the background. Within our lives, we all will face these critical moments. There will be a time when we must decide to act or to remain passive, to struggle or to give up. When we are faced with these decisions, these critical moments, the only thing which truly and absolutely holds us back is our own inhibition. The true difficulty with these choices is that they are so easy to get out of. If you think about doing something and only think about doing it and you don't act on it, no one will ever know that you thought about it. When you are the only factor in jeopardy, it is so easy to appease your own needs instead of those of the greater good. Lawyer and protector of justice, William Kunstler, had such an affinity for Michelangelo's statue of David for this very reason. Michelangelo's statue is the only represent representation of David before he made his choice. All the other depictions show him in victory. In Michelangelo's image, David is facing his critical moment. Kunstler puts it like this. He's got the rock in his right hand, the sling over his left shoulder, and he's saying like proof rock, do I dare? Do I dare? Do we dare? Do we dare to challenge what has been set before us? Do we dare to stand? I would like to remind you that not all injustice is so clear cut not simply black and white. There are monsters and demons in this world, but they will not appear as such. Malice and prejudice will not take the form of a Goliath crashing down your door, but will instead be veiled in a facade of humanity. Kunstler had a philosophy about this, and it's called an aura of legitimacy. The philosophy is that the people of the world believe in a predetermined order to life and therefore turn their conscience off to things which happen through the established system. The death of six million during the Third Reich was done legitimately through the system. The hundreds of rape trials in the South were all done legitimately. The war on drugs, black incarceration, and the Central Park Five, all done legitimately. The past is our heritage. The present, our responsibility. The future, our challenge. So I implore you, Class of 2016, do we dare? Do we dare? Yeah. Do we dare yeah. to act and stand against injustice? And do we dare to be extraordinary? Thank you very much.